October the 3rd, 1959. And in doubtful weather, once again, it's a West versus Port Grand Final here in Adelaide. A crowd in the vicinity of 40,000 have turned out to see the start of this all-important Grand Final. And I'm sure they won't be disappointed. There's great tension in the air as the crowd, already on their toes, await the appearance of our two leading teams in what will be the most significant game for many years. Everyone here is asking the same question. Can West, unlucky West, topple the mighty magpies from their treetop? This could be West's day. The fans are on in their full glory today. On the western side we see Port Adelaide with plenty of decorations as usual. Everyone keyed up and ready to go into the big game today. And West Adelaide too with their red and black pennant are well in the picture. See those fans cheer as they await the arrival of their team onto the field. West onto the field and the start of the 1959 Grand Final is Port Adelaide. Now it's West Adelaide's team, led by Mr. Football of the Year, Neil Curley. They run under the field. Alan Trigenza, here they come in all their glory. Don Roach. Last but not least, Ian Gates. And here he comes, uh, umpire Laurie Sweeney, to start off the 1959 Grand Final. In he comes to bounce the ball. There it is, it's well in the air. Zucker's there. No one gets the knock. It's on the ground. Anyone can have it. Motley's caught in possession, but it's too high, and he will receive a kick at the center of the ground. He goes for the kick. It's a long driving punt kick, perhaps 50 yards. It's over the head of everyone. Curley's well in the air. Misses it. Hobbsby covers well. Cross to Luke. He can't make it. Trigens are in there. Caught in possession. Over to right. Right in trouble. Kicks well low and relieved for the West Adelaide. Tenney well into the air. Luke making pace. Grabs it on the run, goes for a long left footer off the side of the boot, and Boyd is in there, making position well. Port Adelaide's in a half forward area, it's off hands out, Thompson's in there, he's caught in possession, but it's too high, and he'll go back and receive a free kick in the muddy area around the centre of the oval. There's Thompson's kick, it's a long screw punt, curving into the goal, Dittmar's jumps too early, Barker with a well-aimed squall, hits the cross to Curley, who clears with a long kick. With the score at West, three points and port, four goals one. Umpire Sweeney moves in to bounce the ball. It's in the air. Richardson's up high. A nice knock to Johnson. Johnson's clear, using his pace to advantage. Suckers it off the ground. Ryan's in there. Can't get at it. Gill playing loose in the back line. Is held but clears with a long handball. Out to the right half forward flank of West Adelaide. But it comes off the body of David Gill and it's gone out of bounds. With 20 minutes gone of the first quarter, Ryan's kick is high into the goal square. Dropping short. Gill spoils well, it's gone, anyone can have it. Hayes coming through fast, has been fouled around the neck and must get the free. Here's Hayes' kick coming to the centre of the ground. It's Motley and Johnson. Motley far too strong overhead and has had it over Johnson there all day, although Johnson's ground play has been good so far. Sims from right in front going in for his kick. There it is. That's a short one, but enough to make the distance. Sims... Uh, kicked that one after taking a good mark right on the goal line. He flung himself at the ball and picked it up off the turf. From the centre bounce, West Adelaide 1-5, Port Adelaide 5-1. 25 minutes gone of the third, first quarter. Sweeney bouncing the ball, Tull in there, Richardson there, off hand. Down to the ground, Eglinton's in there, drops the ball, it's in the scramble. Chanau using his pace, comes out, but he's pushed in the back. Sweeney lets it go, Boyd has the ball, sits on it. It's anyone's ball, but umpire Sweeney wisely calls it up. There's a bit of an incident going on as Curley apparently backed into Motley then. Sweeney will bounce the ball in the muddy centre patch. There it is. Richardson with a grand knock. Belts it down to centre half forward. Ryan tries to belt it off the ground with his foot. Allows Teeny to come through. Kick a high punt to the half forward flank. Boyd's under the ball. And Wright has definitely been fouled. And Wright will... Jimmy Wright taking his kick now from the centre of the ground. Screw punt to the centre half forward position. Two ports and one West Adelaide gun. But soft hands, the reliable wheel and coming through. Can't pick it up. Tries to soccer it off the ground. It's in there. Motley once again getting plenty of kicks. Doesn't know what to do with it. But decides on a long screw punt. At the start of the second quarter, the scores are West 2-5, Port 5-2. As Sweeney bounces the ball again, Zucker has the knock. It's across to Potter, who is grabbed by Eglinton. It's gone free towards the boundary. Carroll coming in onto his right foot has lost possession. Eglinton's in there, but it's Day who picks up. And running around the boundary 
has flipped it across to Fitzner. Fitzner drives it into the half-forward flank. Well, it's off hands once again, and Abley, who's done a good job back there, tries to clear, but it's off hands into Ryan. Ryan drives it in. He's 35 yards out. He has no trouble in putting it through. From the centre bounce, Richardson and Dubrow and Zuka, and they're all in there. It's gone off hands. Can come anywhere. It's gone to the centre of the ground, though, where Dubrow, who's been playing well, gets it. He's a bit slow to get rid of it. Day has fun in circles and kicks luckily out to Gates who has made position down the ground. Gates handballs across to the centre. Nothing good comes of it. Soft hands once more. West driving it in. Bit slow to get rid of it. Yes. That was a bit doubtful though, that one. It's Richardson moving in from the right forward pocket to take his kick. But plenty of force behind it and it's gone straight through the centre. No doubt about that one. West Adelaide, 2-5, 7-4. 25 minutes of the second quarter gone. Eustace will clear for West Adelaide from the right half back flank. It's up on the air there to Boyd who gets it off hands. Boyd has kicked it well to Port's half forward left flank. And Potter playing around the flank. Come off hands again. Thompson's in there. And he once more, he's been thrown off balance and the ball's gone out of bounds. From the throw in, Richardson, Zucker and Dubrow. Dubrow in there. Johnson has it. He did have it. Motley gets it. Clears well to the centre of the ground where Hobbs flies with Tregenza. Come off hands, Luke showing great dash, can't pick it up. Hobbs is in again. It's been a foot kicked in there somewhere. Hobbs gets it there and clears it to the centre of the ground as the rain starts to come down once again. Six foot five, Norm Toll moves in. The long screw punt and just barely makes the goal. Just couldn't have been closer than two inches this side of the goal post for that goal. On the throw in, right in front of us now. Wheeling well into the air. Gets it up the neck of Richardson. Thompson comes through his face. Kicks to the boundary line, but it's gone over. In the first half, it was all Port Adelaide, but now West are well in there with them as Umpire Sweeney bounces from the centre. Powell clears off the ground. A free to Gates now. He's running down the ground. A lovely long drop kick. Finds Canal, but it's too late as the siren blows. In that quarter, Port shifted Motley into the back line to play loose, and Boyd took over at centre. At the start of the last quarter, West are well in the picture at this stage. Port, however, still leading 11-6 to 7-9. 72 points to 51, as umpire Sweeney gets ready to bounce the ball for this all-important quarter. In comes Sweeney to bounce the ball. It's in the air, Zuka's in there, Dubrow. Tommy Williams tries to get it, can't get it off the ground, he comes through again, but umpire Sweeney has called the ball up. Zuka in there again, and Dubrow. Eglinton fighting well for the ball. Loses possession, however. Tommy Williams comes through, kicks it off the ground. Tregenz is in there, so is Eustace. Eustace tries to boot it off the ground, but it's gone well into the left half forward pocket of Port Adelaide and just trickles out of bounds. From the throw in, from the port left half forward flank, it's Dubrow and Zuka. Dubrow makes front position, flicks it across to right. Right can't get at it. Luke's in there playing vigorously. Right has it again, sidesteps Luke and clears for West Adelaide with a kick that screws off the side of his boot. Roach is under it. Johnson showing his customary pace, can't pick it up. Slips over the ground, Hayes is in there, and the umpire must call the ball up. Now it's play on, and Motley has been given the free against him. Roach will take the kick. West Adelaide kicking towards the river end. There's the kick from Gates down to Kelly. Kelly marks, plays on, however. Kicks to the centre of the ground. No one's there except Curley. Curley misses the ball completely. Boyd coming through, swings onto his left boot. There's a 40-yard kick down to the left half-forward pocket where Luke coming through with great dash. Picked the ball up, flicked it off the side, but it's gone out of bounds. The kick out from Barker, coming well into the picture now. Hobbs well into the air, can't get it. Luke has a go with his boot, Fitzner's there, should be holding the ball, and it is, yes. Hobbs will take the kick from the left half forward flank of Port Adelaide. They're now well into the third quarter, and Port are still leading, 37, 66 points to 37. As the play is going on in the, in the far forward pocket, yes, it's holding the ball against West, 
and Teddy Whelan will relieve for the Max Magpies. Garnet has the ball at centre half forward. West badly need goals at this stage as Garnet moves in for his kick. His drop punt is 40 to 45 yards into the goal square. It's off hand. Sims has it. He's caught. He can't get rid of it. He's thrown to the ground and the umpire must bounce the ball. There's a scrimmage going on at the moment. But everything is all right now as Whelan has the ball. From the throw-in, from West Adelaide's right half-forward pocket, Tommy Williams is clearing the ball with customary dash. He's kicked it well clear to the half-back left flank where Hayes watches it. Nearly goes out of bounds, but he's onto it again. He's tripped up, he's fouled. Umpire Sweeney lets it play on. A vigorous bump by Gates, who makes pace well. Quick to the cross. Left, Pittman's long kick, screwing into the goal. And yes, point, four points to, to West Adelaide. Since half time, West have rejuvenated themselves and they're piling on the goals at this stage. The score is 4 10 6, West 6 7 as Chenow comes in with a, a prodigious screw punt, but it's through for behind only. John Adley with his customary stutter kicks out for the Magpies. It's a high one, screwing away to the halfback flank. No one gets his hands on it. Hayes is in there. Two West players, can't see who they are. But Roach comes out with the ball, but apparently Fitzner was freed as he was going for the ball. Once again, again West Adelaide are in attack. And they've been playing inspired football for the past five minutes as it sims, lining up the ball, moves in, the kick. It's a wobbly looking one, it's well into the air and throws a full pointer. On the centre bounce, West throw everything into it as Richardson's in the air, Curley coming through, can't get it, Gates once again. Runs to the flank, sets his kick into the centre of the ground. Soft hands once more, Teeny has it. Flicks it out for Hayes, Hayes relieves for the Magpies with a long left foot screw punch. Right down to Port's half forward left flank where Eustace once again stops an attack and kicks to the centre of the ground. Roach is there, yes, Roach marked well then. Hayes had a bit of a go at him, but... We're now halfway through the, the last quarter as Roach comes in, the difference being 21 points. His kick goes through for behind. The difference now is 20 points. Port, 12-7, West, 8-10. Here's the kick in from Abley from the River Torrens end. Not much distance from that one. Comes to the centre half forward position. The bro's on the ground. Teeny trying to come through, so is Day. No one picks it up. Marnie is on in place of Luke. Kicks off the ground. Roach is caught. The bro has it again. Kelly comes through, using his weight well. It's over to Thompson, who'll play on now, down, down. Attacking for Port Adelaide, a lovely pass to Ob. In the centre of the ground, Motley playing on, so is Thompson. They must score here. No, well tackled by Curley, a bit high, but nevertheless he got him down. Ob's coming through, hooks it round. But a, a point only. Garnet running in to take his kick, there's that deadly drop punt again and it's straight through the centre. That brings West Adelaide closer to Port Adelaide. West 8-11, Port 30-13-8. With time on to go, West are in, well into attack now. They put on three quick goals. That makes West 11-11, Port 13-8. And West are still in it. With only minutes to go, Zuka's well into the air. De Boer has it. Tommy Williams has pulled off balance. From the ground, but Roach coming through well. Can't pick it up. Throw it to right. Right bump off balance. They've still got the ball. He's probably out of trouble. Not to the ground. Kicks well into the air. Teddy Whelan fires to Mark, and Boyd comes through for Port Adelaide and clears well to this flank. At this stage, Johnson has been told very heavily. We can't see what's going on, but there's trainers and St. John's ambulance men from all over the ground. Anyway, we're back into attack again with Port Adelaide, and Potter has it at approximately the centre-half forward position at about 45 yards out. In comes Potter for his kick. It's short and won't make the distance. Off hands and through for behind. And there's the end of another West versus Port memorable grand final for 1959. Once again, Port ran out the winners. West, however, must be recommended for their third quarter burst in which they played really inspired football, but could not hold Port. <laughs>